see my man work. He's amazing with that camera, yo. Cool out TV. What's the name of this nation? This is Zulu King Kazim. This is Beloved One. This is Rob Nice. Yo, this is Silver Shadow D. This is Christine Virgilio Emery. Oh, this is DJ Tecumseh. This is Alonzo, aka Big Zo. This is DJ Surreal. You just tapped in the Sister Hailstorm. I'm CB4. This is Whip. I am Kitty Wu. This is Tour Zulu. I initially got down, I would say, with Zulu Nation around 97, uh, 98, somewhere around there. And um, it wasn't a, a, until 2003 where I went to New York for my first time, along with uh, my brothers from Seattle and sisters, uh, to, to experience the birthplace of hip hop at a Universal Zulu Nation anniversary. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was a good time, and I was I was uh, embraced well by the people who I had seen for so many years, who had really taken uh, took me in and, and uh, took care of me out there. And um, I felt like kind of the climate of what was going on in Seattle was also a good time to introduce the Zulu Nation to Seattle. So uh, I took um, I accepted the uh, the responsibility of, of that initiative. Shortly after, um, a couple months later, I was invited to the National uh, Zulu Nation Conference in Miami, where I began uh, extensive uh, uh, conferences and, and meetings, uh, and getting the right uh, knowledge in order to operate a chapter. Um, that was the birth of, of the Seattle chapter at that point. The World Council, Africa, Bambada, and um, chapter leaders from around the country um, had, had established that officially, and that was the beginning. It was in, uh, at the end of February, five years ago. 206 Zulu is a community-based organization um, that is built on the founding, you know, five elements of hip-hop, DJing, MC, b-boying, uh, graffiti arts, and knowledge. Well, we have our monthly meetings, and those are open to the public. Um, everyone from every, you know, area, uh, whether it's education or hip-hop or electronic music or what have you, uh, we meet the second Thursdays of the month. We meet at Kidmo in the Central District, and we do a lot of work in the schools. Um, we do a lot of work with youth, and, um, and then other than that, we just uh, have fun. Zulu is all about unity. Peace, love, unity, and having fun. Strength in numbers. It's coming together with like-minded individuals and ce celebrating our differences, being able to overcome the negative to the positive. So with that being said, like personally for me, um, hip hop and Zulu, it's really about uniting with other people, specifically in the 206, um, it's bringing heads together to get out there in the schools, get out there in the streets, get out to the, the youth that are struggling and really uh, giving them a, an outlet to put the, the energies they have into something positive. I first heard about 206 Zulu about two years ago and I always knew about the Universal Zulu Nation ever since I was a young girl coming up listening to hip hop in the 80s and the early 90s and I didn't even know that Seattle had a chapter so as soon as I heard about it I was on top of it like yo I gotta be a part of this because I knew that Zulu Nation was like everything that represented true hip hop because everybody that was into true hip hop all the real artists and everything from the old school always mentioned Zulu. So once I found out all the things that Zulu was doing in the community, that was even better. And it had everything to do with everything that I wanted to do as far as education and the youth and representing the true culture. There may not be as many women as men in the organization, but those who are in the organization fully participate and are extremely powerful and are some really key organizer. I mean, Kitty Wu, if it weren't for her, we wouldn't be having, having the Northwest Hip Hop Parade troupe, you know, and I'm really 
just now taken my position as far as coordinating the educational aspects. Also, the other thing I really love about being a woman in the organization is you feel like you have a whole bunch of big brothers or uncles that are looking out for you. If you're at an event, they're constantly asking you, you okay, you all right, is there anything I can do for you? You know, you see them at the door, you see them watching, so you feel safe. Yeah, it's just like being in a big family. Being in New York for the 35th Zulu anniversary was like, it was almost like the culmination or the beginning of everything that I pictured myself doing in hip hop from the time, you know, that I was seven years old listening to some of the, some of the first rappers that I heard. I was like, you know, that's what I want. That's where I want to be. And to meet Africa Bambata, one of the forefathers of hip hop, that was like, you know, coming full circle. But it was really just like the launching point because that's where Seattle was able to make a lot of connections and build with some of the people who were there from the very beginning. The gangster, the guru, the fortune teller, the woo who work for the body, contort of the widow, the window into the ghetto, the video ho, the hustler, good mother, the compassionate sister, the word twister, the MC, polygamous, the skinhead, the anarchist, the Nazi dread, the newborn, war torn, playboy, woman in porn, yet to be born, the deceased, the killer, rapist, beat the president, the heaven said the president, the heaven said the president, is heaven sent the flood, the drought, the heart filled with trepidation and doubt, the mouth is out, and that feeds me hard working, who get here illegally, the politician, anarchist, believer, atheist, Christian, even pagan, alpha, the omega, and father, spirit, savior, and no matter the circumstance we're in, all that origin in him, the Christian, heathen, pagan, alpha, the omega, and father, spirit, savior, and no matter the circumstance we're in, all that origin in him. Zulu Nation has always meant everything to me. Um, how I even knew and you know heard or felt the vibe of hip hop had a, uh, almost everything to do with Africa Bambada. There were other groups that came out, but the stuff that I was feeling was the stuff that he was producing, from the uh, Planet Rocks to the uh, Nucleus, and you know, and everything that came out directly from him, or um, as a result uh, of him. So it, it means a lot. Check this. Picture candy, cold they don't see, spitting right to they sentence. Like someone yelled, Eureka, I freak up flow with my vengeance. Convicted of that whack mic, watching whack rock micin. Caught you with a tube and container, trying to siphon. My hip hop gas, my liquid vapors be like mustard. I keep the suckers flexing, trying to beat the flavor of my custard. And when he swallowed, he vomit like it was comet powder. Spontaneous and strangled, mango by my rhyme's power. And like a booming flower, watch my pretty petals spread. I know I kicked some out, but they won't tell me how they bled. Because my flow be fiber optic, long distance, I hum but in the sky, cause my style be helicoptic I blast like a war hawk Feel my singers, leave my rhyme missiles guided Wherever the f*** points my finger I bring you to my rough ruckus In the arena, mean a gladiate like Dick Buckus Like a Microphone off like I was used to sick up Pick your pickle peppers, I'll watch you fall up like a leper Ain't in it for the cheddar, but sometimes cheddar makes it better To maneuver through this cycle like Michael, how about you? We off the world, this world needs a future Time to expand and get the grands with my man with that east hip And that west hop, y'all need to stop and let the rhymes drop Now we off the world, this world needs a future Time to expand and get the grands with my man with that east hip And that west hop